it's Teresa thanks for joining me again on my channel for another video today is Saturday um, it's the day of our iron bowl party and I haven't really done any party preparation I would have done it yesterday normally but I got so sick yesterday morning um, and I was pretty much vomiting all day I couldn't keep anything on my stomach not even water and late last night my husband had to take me to the emergency room and they gave me some medicine and all of that so today I do feel better so I'm gonna try to go ahead and do my party prepping today it is a little bit after 12 so I am on a mad dash right now to get everything done before guests get here I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys around to the house with me and um, try to show you as much as I can of what I'm gonna do to get everything ready and my menu is gonna change a little bit because I just don't feel up to cooking a lot so I'll show you guys the changes that I'm gonna make to the menu too all right let's get started I know that I am dragging and I must look a hot mess but you gotta do what you gotta do First, I'm going to clean off the dining room table and get all of the Thanksgiving decorations off of here. I have our fall baskets or container here. This is what I keep all our fall decorations in. I'm going to go ahead and take this stuff off of the table and put it back into this container. Right now, in this container, I have all of our iron bowl decorations in there. So I'm going to just switch out these decorations and get the table ready to be set for the Iron Bowl party. I've taken everything off of the table. This is what I've got so far. I just put the cups here. This is for preparation for me to put the food out. And you guys will see what I do with those in a little bit. And I made a centerpiece for the table. And I just have these tablecloths that I got from the Dollar Tree. And it kind of looks like a football field or something like that. And I did the same thing in the kitchen. This is going to be the dessert table. And I also moved all the chairs out of the way. I moved the bar stools away from the bar. And I moved the um, dining room chairs away from the table. But those chairs are going to go downstairs where the big TV is so that people will have more space to sit and this way when people are ready to fix their food they can just walk around the table downstairs the snack table is covered and ready to be set up and we're ready for football i put the eggs on to boil these are for the deviled eggs and for a salad I've also taken out all of my iron bowl dishes and containers, bowls, things like that. The things I'm going to use for the food and for dessert. So I'm going to go ahead and start prepping the food and get everything on that needs to be cooking. And I'll come back in a minute and show you guys all of that. I wanted to show y'all the snack table before everybody got a hold of it. This is a spinach dip that I made myself with crackers those are just plain sour cream and onion potato chips and we got some tortilla chips with salsa and I did film how I made the spinach dip so look for that video coming soon <laughs> Yeah, put the head down. 
get ready to eat. Just wanted to come and show you guys the final table. Um, this is how I like to set my tables up when I have people over. So just walk up, grab a napkin and your utensils. Got the plates right here. And then I made this. I made this out of, um, I don't know what it's called. But it's like the little rolly things you can find at the dollar stores. And they're, um, they come in like a pack of two. I just rolled them out and then fluffed them all together so it looks, you know, real fluffy and colorful with the orange and blue. We got hot wings right here, and then we got some chicken fingers, some baked beans, and salad, and mm, deviled eggs, and some corn on the cob. You guys know that my menu changed a little bit because I wasn't feeling too good yesterday, so I decided not to do the pasta salad, and I also decided not to do the broccoli salad because it just took too much effort, and I didn't honestly just didn't have the energy to do it so this is what the table looks like and we're about to get ready to eat i'll come back and show you guys what the dessert table looks like when we get ready to have dessert all right here's the dessert table kept it very simple very cute we just got some oatmeal cookies and chocolate chip cookies and i have some butterscotch pieces in the middle i had that left over from doing some desserts earlier this week Got the same type of little um, centerpiece here. And I remembered that I did these with streamers. The streamers that you buy like at the, at the dollar store. I unrolled some and then I fluffed them together. And that's how I got that. And we got cupcakes. We have some chocolate with chocolate icing. Some vanilla with chocolate icing. And vanilla with vanilla icing. And vanilla with chocolate icing. So those are the cupcakes and they just have colorful sprinkles on them that are really cute. And then right here I put out some hot chocolate packets with some cups with the Auburn sign on it. And they can make hot chocolate if they want to make hot chocolate because it is chilly outside. And this is just the little dessert table which is actually my island in my kitchen. I always set this up with the dessert so that people can walk around and get whatever it is they want to get.